The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus heard that John had been arrested, he withdrew to Galilee. He left Nazareth and went to live in Capernaum by the sea in the region of Zebulun and Naphtali. So that what had been said through Isaiah the prophet might be fulfilled. Land of Zebulun and land of Naphtali, the way to the sea beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people who sit in darkness have seen a great light. On those dwelling in a land overshadowed by death, light has arisen. From that time on, Jesus began to preach and say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He went around all of Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness among the people. His fame spread to all of Syria, and they brought to him all who were sick with various diseases and racked with pain, those who were possessed, lunatics and paralytics, and he cured them. And great crowds from Galilee, the Decapolis, Jerusalem, and Judea, and from beyond the Jordan, followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Our saint today, Saint Andrew, or Andre, Bessette, a Canadian uh, in Quebec, uh, had a particular devotion to Saint Joseph. So I want to thank Sister for putting out the uh, uh, vestment today of St. Joseph. And uh, St. Andre is a good reminder to us that uh, St. Joseph is not just a character that is sort of on the sidelines in the Gospels. Matthew's Gospel makes it very clear that his role in the coming of Jesus is not simply incidental. He has the role of legitimizing Jesus' presence as a Jew. It is through Joseph that uh, Jesus is the uh, son of David and the descendant of David. So his claim to kingship in the line of David really is uh, through Joseph. So Joseph has a very special role to play in our, um, in our salvation. And just as we honor Mary as our mother and the mother of the church, so too St. Joseph is um, the patron of the church. And the patron of the church who is obedient in all things to the Lord. Now, there's an interesting little sideline here in Matthew's Gospel of how Jesus himself is obedient. Because Matthew has Jesus waiting until John the Baptist has left the scene. After John is arrested, then Jesus begins to take over where John left off. Jesus began by not doing anything more than simply preaching the same message that John had. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Then he begins to develop that message, not so much through teaching that's recorded, but through deeds. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Here is the proof of it. The sick are healed the blind see, the lame walk, the deaf hear, the poor have the good news preached to them. And so Jesus not only proclaims the kingdom in word, 
repent, the kingdom of God is at hand, but Jesus proclaims the kingdom by his actions. And his actions are those of healing. Now, you and I may not be able to perform great miracles of healing or things that are obvious, but each one of us is called also to proclaim the kingdom of God in ways that may not be so striking as miracles, but nonetheless open us and open one another to the workings of God. We do that by our kindness, our patience, our interest in others, especially those that may, might be difficult to show interest in. Maybe the Lord is pointing us, you know, you need to be a sacrament, a sign of my grace to that person or to those people. At the very least, what we can do is what St. Andre did. And that is, and you know, he was always a humble doorkeeper. He was the one who was responsible basically for opening and closing the door to visitors and guests. But he prayed. He prayed for all of those who passed through his door. And when some came in need, he prayed in a special way over them. And often enough, the Lord heard that prayer through St. Joseph and worked a healing through him. Again, Andre didn't particularly want to be a miracle worker, and he always said, it's the Lord through St. Joseph who does this. And we too need to be attuned to where is the Lord calling us to present him to others, where others may be in need of his healing and saving grace.